What is love? And how can it be defined by a world that is blind? Blind to its definition because this world suffers from it like malnutrition, but why do people seek love? Is it to receive attention and affection? Because the dictionary defines love as an intense feeling of deep affection, but I believe the dictionary goes in the wrong direction because worldly love is based off of selfishness, possession, and obsession. It's clinginess and ownership because if you're not with me, then I'm over it. One of Satan's greatest deceptions is lust twisted into love, which causes pain and false promises, leaving people broken with emptiness. People today are afraid of expressing affection because 40% of people who are rejected in love slip into a clinical depression. Love today is the battle of attrition and it's slowly eroding and corroding like a chemical imbalance. Scientists say being in love activates the same part of your brain like being high on cocaine, but that's an addiction and when you don't have it, you fall subject to affliction. Real love is not based on condition. The problem is people don't know how to demonstrate this because if you love someone, love doesn't die. And if it does, then it never was love. But why? It was attachment and attraction because attraction isn't a choice. It's based off the of chemicals in the body and brain that make you feel this way. Most of the time it's based on a visceral biological level. Physically you like the way this person looks along with how they make you feel, but was it ever real? And that's the question because people believe they were loved by their one and when things go the wrong way they cannot comprehend and realize it was a deception based off this feeling of connection but connection isn't love because once connections fade they break away like mist that gets hit by morning rays it's gone within a day but real love does not change it's stronger than steel because it's real and real love sets you free like Jesus did for me and it keeps no record of being wronged because real love is always strong Love is patient, love is kind, it does not lie, it does not boast, it is not proud or rude, it always tells the truth, it trusts and it never gives up. Even when you feel like giving up, it never loses faith because it's filled with grace, it's hopeful and powerful in every circumstance you face and it has no fear because it's clear like the sun illuminating the sky during sunrise. Brighter than fire, love does not expire. Love cannot be bound because it's boundless and endless and travels farther than the furthest star. Surrounded by darkness, it continues glowing and showing its brightness because it's righteous. It doesn't matter if it's alone because real love will continue to be shown. Love someone as much as you love yourself because love is not selfish. Love your enemies and do good to them because love covers a multitude of sin. It does not judge. It provides with open arms and it does not harm. It's a shelter that's impenetrable made of stone, a beautiful fortress to enter and take refuge in. Love comes to the rescue and it does not turn away. Even if I contained all the knowledge on earth and had faith that moved mountains without love, I would be nothing. But real love is something. It's not afraid of suffering. It's the greatest gift we've been given and it does not run from pain because it's not afraid. Real love is willingness to give up your life because if you truly love someone, you give them your life. And that's what Jesus did for you and that's what Jesus did for me. Don't you see? He is the ultimate expression of love because that is God's love. He took two nails through his hands and one through his feet because he loved us deeply. He sacrificed himself for everyone else. He loved us even in our sin because he forgives. He even forgave the people that killed him. He loved them while they drove nails through his body. Literally, we are just as bad as those people because Jesus did that to remove our sin so we could be forgiven. We are citizens of heaven. If we believe in Jesus Christ, we will go there when it's the end of our life. His love changed my life. So whenever I say I love someone, I want to be like his love because Jesus Christ is the definition of real love. And whoever does not love does not know God because God is love and we are to love like Jesus.